the atomic radius increases from right to left and from top to bottom in this pattern on the periodic table. The top to bottom part is quite simple and very intuitive for the understanding as the size of the nucleus but mainly the size of the electron cloud which is going to have a lot to do with the size of the orbitals using the s orbitals for example I have 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s as that principal quantum number increases the size of that same orbital is also increasing so the atomic radius will also increase now the atomic radius is mainly going to be a measure of the size of the electron cloud. The size of the actual nucleus has very little to do with it because it's quite far away if one were to compare the two. Now from right to left, if I think of my elements and its ability to attract electrons, if I remember my ionization energy and electron affinity trends. Electron affinity and ionization energy had a trend that looked like this. And what caused ionization energy and electron affinity to have this trend was the ability of those elements to attract electrons those elements that had the greatest ability to attract electrons had the highest ionization energies because they did not want to give up those electrons. Now, if I were to think of how those electrons are being held in the orbitals, the ones that were best able to attract electrons, they held on to them very tightly because they needed to attract more electrons to gain an octet those that did not want to attract electrons or in fact preferred to lose electrons in order to gain that octet they held on to them very loosely because they're in a higher energy level than it wants to be in so by getting rid of that electron it goes to a lower more stable energy state so what it means is that those elements that want to get rid of or have a low electron affinity or a low ionization energy, they're going to hold on to those electrons more loosely. That is the reason why they have a low ionization energy and low electron affinity. They hold on to them more loosely. If it holds on to them more loosely, the size of the atom's electron cloud will be larger because they're held on to more loosely. Something like fluorine that has a very high ionization energy and high electron affinity, it's going to hold on to its electrons much more tightly, and as a result, its atomic radius is smaller than something like lithium, sodium, or, or potassium. Regard, I mean, without it already being in a different row. So comparing fluorine with, say, sodium it's going to be a much smaller atomic radius because it's larger and more importantly it holds on to its electrons much more tightly than sodium does.